Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. And uh, we just put this, <laughs> bless you. Excuse me. We just put this cube wire shelf thing in here uh, last night. I am going to come through and secure every connection with zip ties. Haven't done it yet, though. Although so, these are pretty secure. The black ones I felt like weren't as secure. But the white, the white ones are like, because they have like these little grip things on them. See yeah, that? still gonna. Uh, well, the black ones do too. I don't know. I just felt like these were. Tighter. Still gonna put zip ties on everything. Yeah, it feels definitely. pretty good. Yeah. I think. I mean, it's not like super strong, but I think we can put at least probably twenty pounds per shelf per yeah. cube or or whatever. So, uh, Candace actually broke it in. She got two uh, two listed items on there. Man, these are going to be a, be able to store so much. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, we do have we did go to garage sales. That's going to be in another video. Um, today's Friday. Yeah. And we hit some sales this morning, and um, we picked up some interesting things. Yeah, we'll show y'all in a video. But right now, it's time to pull some orders. Okay, first thing we're pulling is a globe. Sold this guy for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping on top. And then also sold these two starting lineups. Went ahead and pulled these. Sold an Alex A Rod, Alex Rodriguez, and sold a Allen Iverson starting lineup. On ten Delta, sold a Thor. This looks like it's probably him. Yeah, th this is him right here. He sold for twenty two ninety nine plus shipping on top. And five Echo sold some uh, shampoo type stuff. Not exactly sure where it's gonna be. Ah, this is it right here. This stuff right here. <clears throat> I already got the box that's gonna ship in too. A little regional rate A. Uh, that that stuff's there sold for. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping on top for this. One B. S one B up here. Okay. S one thirty nine. Moving these posters around. I don't even know what's on them anymore. 1B S139 is a Dirk Nowitzki rookie card. Looking for 139C. This is it right here. This sold for $14.99, I think. Plus a little bit of shipping. It's going to go uh, eBay standard envelope. All right, 5 Delta. Candace bought a bunch of these... Uh, these horses right here at an estate sale I think last was that last weekend or weekend, last weekend. it was last weekend It'd be easier to get it from the other side it's all these horses in here I have to pack them up very carefully because there must be some that are worth uh, they're pretty valuable because this lot of horses sold for $124.25 at auction. Uh, very happy with those results. Were, were you expecting that, Candace? I, I honestly I have no idea. I knew it could be, but I didn't know what I had. You, you had trouble researching those? Yeah, I mean, there's so many just solid, plain brown horses or white, you know. Like right. the Appaloosa, I, it was easy to identify because of the markings. And then the um, Lone Ranger Silver horse mm -hmm. because of the collar around his neck. But those are just plain horses. So, I okay. mean, I, I, I think that's pretty smart. It, in, in some markets, it's pretty smart to just go ahead and auction it just yeah. in case, just in case you, you I mean, miss I something. I did try to do some quick research just to see if I could find them. And I looked up like a few of them and I'm like, I can't, you know, I, yeah. how do you know? Seven Delta sold a Cree Century or something like that. Strange looking dude. Let's see. He's mostly gray. That's not him. Uh, ah. This, this is him right here. This guy sold for $7.99 plus shipping on top. 
four Bravo. Another Candace buy. She bought this uh, Tervis cup, Margaritaville. It's five o'clock somewhere. Uh, I, I want to say you paid like a dollar or something for this mm -hmm. at a garage sale slash estate sale thing. Um, $14.99 plus shipping for that. Okay, Seven Charlie sold a Silver Surfer. Ken has just listed this guy too. Uh, he's got a surfboard and everything. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping on top. And Nine Alpha, another action figure. This is Shang-Chi. When something, what was it called? Uh, Jailene. And we have Win Wu. That's it. Win Wu. This guy sold for $9.99. The uh no no bath, no B A F. I get I've seen that question a few times. Uh that refers to the build a figure right here. And you see on this one it says build a figure, Marvel's Mr. Hyde. There's a blank spot right there. There's a piece. Usually it's gonna be an arm, a leg, a torso, a weapon, something like that. You see on the back of the packaging. Build a figure, Marvel's Mr. Hyde. There's six different figs in that series. And you each one comes with a build a figure piece. You put them all together and then you get the Marvel's Mr. Hyde. Uh, which is that guy right there. And the no no bath just means it ain't here. Because somebody basically looks like bought most a lot of these, took the build a figure out, and put them back on the shelf. So that's what the no bath means. Just a few left in this thing. And that's everything we have going out today. Uh, I also pulled three makeup orders, which I don't ever show y'all because they're, you know, pretty repetitive. Uh, this is a, I, I would say this is a pretty standard kind of day for makeup for us cosmetics. Uh, this stuff here totals up to about $65. And between the three, probably going to be looking at about $10 shipping. I do do free shipping on these. Um, so 55 before fees and before cost of goods sold on those good evening everyone welcome back to the shed it's lonnie and it is actually saturday night we are going uh away for a few days so i have to get everything packed tonight um because we're leaving in the morning tomorrow morning so we do have all of the the big buy that we just made all of it is right here right here there uh there are there's a bag of some shoe insole or something like that right there but everything is in the shed uh as far as that buy goes and that's what we're going to be working on as soon as we get back we're going to dive right into it and um yeah we'll see how that goes what do we have here robitussin naturals cough relief honey and ivy leaf paid 50 cents for that <laughs> Oh man, the the good thing is even on a lot of the cheaper stuff, uh, we have quantity of just about everything. So the cheaper stuff we could definitely lot up and and stuff like that. So looking forward to getting into this stuff. I love selling brand new stuff. the The really good thing about this buy too, all the boxes are like really just great condition. They're not they're not beat up. And they're also, they're not dirty or dusty or anything. They look like they just came off the shelf in the store. So uh, anyway, let's pull some more. I know this is going to be a part of an, a video where uh, I just pulled some orders from like last week. And then now we're going to pull some more uh, orders right now. Okay, first up tonight, 6A, going the wrong way. Going to 6A, what is 6A? 6a is here okay uh sold a venom oh he's right here okay not used to seeing action figures in the cube this venom action figure sold for 29.99 plus shipping on top okay just pulled this box down from up there this is 12 and a half pounds of lego and maybe some other stuff too um sold that at auction for 40 dollars plus shipping on top Okay, number six is where we're going here. It's supposed to be a motorcycle. CC6. Oh, it's down here. All right, got it. This motorcycle.
sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top. This is for Ghost, the motorcycle for Ghost Rider. Okay, from the Cube, we have a floppy disk. I started with five of these. <laughs> I didn't have all of them, so I just sold replacement disk. Um, I think I had five of them. And I, so I just listed them individually, replacement disk for $12.99 plus shipping a piece. And we've now sold four of them. So that's actually worked out. It's taken, I don't know, eight to 10 months, somewhere in there. But yeah, that one sold. And I have one left that somebody will want one of these days. And when they do, here it is. I listed, okay, we're going to 14 right here. I listed uh, the auto parts, some auto parts stuff. We still have like most of it. I listed like 50 of the small things though. Uh, so this is going to be CC1432 is what I'm after here. I put little post-it notes on these because a lot of these, a lot of the packaging looks very similar. Here it is. Uh, transmission line connector. I think 10 bucks plus shipping. A lot of the packaging looks uh, very similar. So um, I cut post-it notes in half and I put, I numbered all of them in the custom skew to kind of prevent me from making mistakes. Because I know I will. I've done it too many times. And the reason I'm putting these up here is because I can reach these. Candace can't reach this spot. So I want to, you know, I'll let her work all this stuff down here. If I list, I'm going to list like in those boxes or I'll, I'll start listing here eventually too. Okay, I have a storage location called Underbench. And that's where the next item is. It is this. <clears throat> These are coming out too, by the way. But I'm going to go in order. It's this uh, G.I. Joe hover boat thing. <clears throat> Sold that at auction for 20 something dollars. Uh, $26 plus shipping on top for that. Sold it as is. It was missing a lot, quite a few parts. Sold this Juki. Got this last weekend too. Uh, all the, a lot of the big stuff that I bought last weekend. Uh, CB this sold for 300 this Juki sold for 200 the Voltron sold for 180 and then sold weights too we'll, we'll get to those in a minute but all the big stuff came in uh, on eBay so that was nice okay next up on 10 Delta here it is right here 10 Delta we sold this uh, Barbie thermos for 999 plus ship and on five echo sold this guy right here it's kind of transport craft or something from return of the jedi early 80s toy 1999 plus shipping on top one foxtrot sold this guy i think yeah scarecrow DC chess collection piece with the uh, got the comic book and everything that sold for $19.99 guy drawer sold the spider-man for $9.99 plus shipping and I have a location of over fridge for aha it's right here pickle keeper <laughs> They are in here, and these two, Candace bought three of them. I don't remember for how much. She kept one, and the other two are getting sold now for $24.99 plus shipping on top. Chest drawer, some figure named Beta Ray Bill. Sold. I think it's this guy with the big... Uh, Hammer or battle axe or whatever the heck you call that. War hammer, maybe. This guy sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top. And from down here, sold these Reebok Speed Packs. 
These are some weights, adjustable weights that I got at an estate sale last weekend, a little over a week ago, oh. mm. for $20, paid $20 for the pair. I initially thought that they were going to be worth about 80, 90, 70, 80, 90. But um, the ones I was looking at at first, they would say 25 pounds, but they meant both of them. And the highest weight on here selectable would be 12 and a half pounds. These are the 25 pound a piece, 50 pounds total. Got uh, 119.99 plus shipping on these. And I'm gonna do something a little weird. Um, I could ship this UPS but I think it might be most cost effective to actually ship this in two shipments. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the weights off, or I'm just gonna pull the pin, release this, and then I'm gonna put the weights and the bars into, if the bars will fit, they actually they probably won't fit, into a uh, medium flat rate. And then the base and maybe these are gonna go like priority or a, maybe another medium flat rate. Um, just cause I think that's gonna, that's gonna be easier for me to pack and it might even be cheaper for the customer. So I'm gonna pack it like that. And just had one more sale come in. So I'll go ahead and pull it. Guy drawer sold this Yoda. I mean, it just sold like two minutes ago. This Yoda um, near complete, it says $59.99 plus shipping on top for little Yoda there. So that is everything that's going out um, as of right now. Just kind of a special pull, pulling time for us. We had a really good sales day today though. A uh, couple of good days there because a lot of the, we bought some high, we bought quite a few high dollar things at garage sales last weekend and they pretty much all sold. So that's been awesome. Hope y'all are doing well out there and thank you very much for watching. We'll see y'all again next time. Take care guys. Bye-bye.